Hi, I'm Griffin from Group Gets. Let's take a look at the TCAM Mini designed by Dan Julio. Because it's wireless, the TCAM makes a great security camera. Here you can see a man with a suspiciously hot backpack. It's a leaf blower. This is a Lepton 3.5 camera board designed for wireless radiometric thermal imaging. It's built around the Espressive ESP32 W Rover E module. The software, firmware, and hardware are open source. My favorite thing about the TCAM is its easy to use companion software. To download, just go to Dan Julio's website and scroll to the bottom of the TCAM mini page. Select the version for your operating system. Then just unzip the folder and run the program. Here's how to connect to your TCAM to start streaming videos and taking pictures. When powered on, the TCAM will broadcast a Wi-Fi access point. Simply connect to this access point from your computer. Once connected, click the Connect button on the TCAM app. To begin streaming video, click the Stream button and select Stream. There's a variety of different color palettes to choose from. You can also capture a single frame by clicking Get. You can measure the temperatures of various spots in the image. To clear these spots, just double click. The square can only be moved before capturing an image or while streaming. You can save the frame as a TCAM data file, or export as an image. The TCAM data file can be reopened in the app for future analysis. You can adjust the settings for the app with Preferences, and the settings for the camera with the Settings button. Here you can adjust the emissivity settings to match the material you want to measure the temperature of to get more accurate temperatures. If you mess up the network settings and you can't connect to your TCAM for some reason, set the IP and preferences back to the default 192.168.4.1. Then press and hold the button on the TCAM until the LED flashes yellow. This will reset the TCAM to default network settings. To connect to your home Wi-Fi network, make sure your computer is connected to your home Wi-Fi and hit the refresh button. This will give you the IP of your computer. Now change the final octet. In the camera settings, uncheck this box and enter your Wi-Fi credentials. Change the static address to match the camera IP and preferences. If you're already connected to your router like I am, you can just click the connect button twice to reset your connection. Otherwise, you may need to reconnect your computer to your home Wi-Fi network. For more advanced use of the TCAM Mini, check out the documentation on GitHub. 